So tell me, Dylan, why does it take 45 days to close a loan? Shut up. <laughs> it doesn't take 45. <laughs> Not in my world, it doesn't. We have the inside scoop coming up. Can I hit her? No. <laughs> Hello everybody, this is Moving Forward TV, and my name is Barry Horvath, and this is your local market update. Did and I, I am that all out of order? Yeah, you did. <laughs> Can I do it again? All right, yeah, do it again. All right, Try ready, cut. <laughs> <laughs> Hello everybody, my name is Barry Horvath, and this is Moving Forward TV, your local market update. And I am Dylan Gaston. Thanks for joining us on this week's program, and we actually have a special guest that is coming up. We have somebody who has flown all the way in. All the way in from? Just to do our show. Wow. For and no other reason. I <laughs> came from Connecticut, from to the To come on this show. Yes, so we like to bring on power guests from our, our the different people out there that are in the industry that can maybe give us some inside like pointers. News. We have a mystery guest. Don't say Fox News, because they'll... Then they have They'll to switch over to Fox News. Yeah. Probably more no, interesting no. than us. No, stay right here. Stay with us. Okay, maybe they won't stay. Maybe with not. Us. Oh, we got to keep talking. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> On this show, we are going to be talking about why it takes forty-five days to close a loan. Yes, we're bringing or in sixty or ninety. Yeah. It really, it, it really doesn't, it, it all depends. Everybody knows in the last several years, lending has gotten hard, and I really am getting a little tired of people saying out there, oh, you can't get a loan, you can't get a loan. Yes, you can get a loan. So you're gonna give us the inside scoop, because that's all I have on my notes. Today, lending has just, so just you know, he's is got giving the words, the, inside scoop, Delin will give it. the inside scoop to what's going on in the inside world of the scoop. Lending has definitely gotten stricter. It's gotten definitely different. Anybody who, who was in the business between like 2003, when, when were the crazy years? 2003 until 2007. Um, all of that stuff is gone. I, we still get people calling us sometimes and saying, well, don't you have those no income verification no, loans? No no no, 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 no. We have, remember, we have people calling us all the time. All the time. Stop. <laughs> Here he goes again. <laughs> With, um, no, there's no, none of those crazy programs are out there anymore and everyone says, oh, it got hard, it got hard, it got so hard, you can't get a loan, no one can get a loan. Yes, they can get a loan. We just went back to old-fashioned underwriting again. Here's a novel idea. You have to actually qualify. Yeah, you have to qualify <laughs> and you actually have to document and source everything in your life yes. from, you know, just pretty much everything. So if you can document everything, you can get a loan. If your credit's decent, you can get a loan. If it's not like the old days where you know you put fog on a mirror right. and you get a loan. It's just not that way anymore. So we're gonna show you why it takes so long and maybe get you on track to a smoother closing and figure out you know, how do we get from point A to point B? And that's- So everyone has the same expectation. Absolutely, so we're gonna get them there. And of course, for people in the real estate world, from point A is the prospect to B, the closing, the paycheck. That's what they all wanna hear about, right? That's what we all want. We'll be right back. This is one bee that loves going to the dentist because it's made for you and me. My name is Dr. Bezerra from New Tampa Pediatric Dental, providing a comfortable atmosphere in early dental care. Gives kids a great start for healthy teeth and gums for life. When I go to Dr. B, they don't do anything to hurt you. I used to be afraid, but I'm not now. I'm not afraid of the dentist anymore. I love to see Dr. B. Call New Tampa Pediatric Dental today. Revolutionary in his field, Dr. Benatti created, perfected, and patented the Benatti Spine Procedures. Using his genius, Benatti invented precise tools necessary to minimize surgery, scarring, anesthesia, and recovery. So successful are the Benatti Spine Procedures, they consistently reflect over 94% patient satisfaction. 45,000 successful procedures have been performed exclusively at our location. Nearly half our patients suffer from failed back and neck surgeries at other facilities. Benatti succeeds where others fail. Mortgages don't need to be complicated. At Norcom, we're here to guide you through the process. 
By following our tried and true path to success, we make homes happen. To get started, give us a call or apply online. A trusted mortgage consultant will reach out to you to find out what your goals are. Whether you're in the market to purchase a new home or refinance your current home, we are dedicated to helping you achieve your goals. At Norcom, we'll provide a best-in-class customer experience. Once a plan is established, your mortgage consultant will analyze your income, assets, and credit profile in order to customize a plan for you. If you're planning on moving in the next few years, we might suggest an adjustable rate mortgage to be the best option for you. If you're a veteran, we'll get you started on a VA loan with 0% down. And if you're thinking long-term, a 30-year fixed loan might be your best fit. Our professionals are up to date on market trends and will help you make the best decision in choosing your rate. After we've found the program that's best for you, we'll then need to collect some information, including pay stubs, bank statements, and tax forms. Our underwriting team steers a loan through the approval process to verify that all the information you've provided is correct. As the underwriting process is taking place, an appraisal is ordered to determine the value of your home. A professional, local appraiser specializing in your area will determine the home's value. The last leg of this journey is closing your loan. While taking care of any last minute details, our closing team will work on scheduling your closing date and location. It's that simple. Thank you for taking some time to walk through the mortgage path with us. Remember, we're always here to answer any questions you may have. It may seem intimidating, but here at Norcom Mortgage, we make homes happen. Okay, welcome back everybody. We're here with Mr. Kale Ferlin. Uh, he is a production manager with a direct lender called Norcom Mortgage. So we brought him in to get the inside scoop to see what's going on in the inside world of direct lending. So, um, Kale, welcome to the show. Thank welcome. you. Thanks, Thanks for, Thanks for coming. Thanks for We're excited on. to have you here. And I know that uh, I think you have six million viewers that are here <laughs> waiting for you. So go. <laughs> so he, Kale's got a huge following in a fan club all the way, probably up in Norcom in Connecticut, so they'll be glad. But they're a direct lender, and you guys lend in how many different states? Oh, good question. Um, I believe it's right was, around the 20 mark. Yeah, so 20 different 20 states. states. Yeah. So, and you started in Connecticut? Yeah, I've always lived in, in, um, in Connecticut. I've actually, my, most of my experience comes from the, from the Connecticut market, so, um, or the New England market. I've been licensed in a, in a couple of different states. Like there, in so. New England Patriots market? Yeah, <laughs> I'm not a Patriots fan myself, oh, so well, that's uh, a good thing let's to just say. get out of the way. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm not a Patriots fan. Big, big Red Sox fan, but not a, not a Patriots okay, fan. Okay, well, so. well, we'll let that slide for now, <laughs> as long as we don't talk about the Rays and Red Sox. Yes. I don't know if you saw the game the other night, but... I didn't. Well, that's probably good because now I can really beat up. And so we killed you guys, just so you know. Sweet. Yeah. So that's great. <laughs> but that's not important now. There was like 40 people probably at the Tampa yeah, Bay. Yeah, friends game. and if family. It was in only. Tampa Bay because nobody goes to the Tampa Bay Rays. Oh, not anymore. Okay. <laughs> not anymore. Not anymore. If I, if hey, I brought my children, I think we would be the majority in, in, the, oh. in the Tampa Bay Stadium. All right, well, I can see where this is going. So let's, <laughs> let's get back to the show here. Imagine that, me trying to get the show back on track. I, yeah, you know? I know. For a change, you, you turning away from right sports. On. That's so, amazing. So you were an originator yeah, prior to joining uh, up with Norcom. Let's explain who Norcom is, first of all. Um, can you give us a little bit? Tell me about who Norcom is and Norcom Mortgage and what they do. And, and just give me a little background on Norcom, if you can. Yeah, sure. For, um, all, for um, all our real estate and first-time home buyers out there watching, and your yeah. six million other fans. <laughs> yeah, uh, Norcom Mortgage is, uh, has been around since uh, since the uh, early '90s. Um, I believe the owner of the company was on your show a little while back, yeah. Phil. With ripped pants. Um, yes, oh, well, did I say that out loud? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Phil. I had nothing to do with that. Um, <laughs> he didn't even know about that's it. That's good. Yeah, right, exactly. So. 
Um, <laughs> but yeah, we, we, you know, we've, we You're probably going to get a pay cut after yes, that. Yes, probably. You know that. probably. Um, he made me say it, Phil, just so you know. I just want you to know that was his idea. All right, we, sorry. Um, that's all right. Uh, we, we started out in the, um, the Connecticut market. So, uh, you know, Phil basically was, was a, a sole owner and he worked in his house um, with, his, with his mother as the processor. So it's one of those stories that you don't hear a lot of. Um, essentially over small amounts of growth over a long period of time. Um, he introduced the wholesale channel, um, so we started doing third-party originations. Uh, we actually also um, began offering a, a state bond program with CHFA. So um, that, that program is specific to Connecticut home buyers. Right. It's a first-time home buyer program. And, it's uh, like a down payment assist program. It, it does have that. It couples with uh, some of the other insured uh, government programs. Right. So you would you would do that with an FHA loan or a USDA loan, VA loan, and it offers a discounted rate, and it also offers you the ability to get down payment assistance. And they, th th those programs are available too in the Tampa Bay area right. too. Just so yeah. Florida your, has some programs. Your like first time home buyer. Well. So okay, so they started the '90s. Phil yep. came in, and then. Um, now he's offering branch opportunities to be direct lenders. Yep. Yeah, Norcom has, has had steady growth. Um, basically, we have branches now from, from Maine to Florida. Um, so, and, and we're just really growing. We're, we're, we're growing a little bit at a time. We're actually doing, um, you know, doing smart, it the smart, smart way. growth. <laughs> we, we don't want to you know, grow too big too fast because that, it's problematic for the customer service in which we can actually ah. offer to people. So, so. All right, speaking of customer service, hey, what do you, and just leave us alone here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Usually, just so you know. You have, you Usually, I do all the talking. She never shuts up. I don't get a word in, so this is like. Are you proud of me? I haven't interrupted once. I, I can't you believe have. it, actually. <laughs> But I haven't. So yeah, this is the Barry and Kale show this week. So Delane <laughs> sounds good. I am, can I am we get ready our, to interrupt. If can we get the producer to just black her out? <laughs> Let's see. There, she's gone. Okay. Yeah, I think the producer would like to do that sometimes too. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. Yeah, well, you know. All right. Well, I'm ready to interrupt. <laughs> At least I don't. Oh, well, never mind. I'm ready to interrupt. Okay. So one of the reasons that we did want to have Kale on the show is because uh, he's being very modest here. But Norcom is known as one of the number one purchase lender in the entire state of Connecticut. That's pretty big. I know the state is small, but that is a pretty big thing to hang on your on your shirt jacket there. Yeah, what an honor. Like I know. Brand so, new. I bought it for the show. <laughs> <laughs> Just for the show. How do we get one of those? How? Yeah, special order. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put my order in. <laughs> so how does does someone get Extreme to be, name, by the way. you know, so, <laughs> The number one purchase lender in the entire state of Connecticut. That's a big. That's a big. Some big shoes so to fill. So let me yeah. hang on before you answer that sure. question. So you're the number one purchase lender in Connecticut. So that means you're beating out. Can I mention those those boxes? Yeah. Things? Like the Wells Fargo's, the Bank of America's of the world. All and the banks as well. Chases and all those big, huge mammoth financial institution we talk about. So how how does Norcom? How did that happen? What do they do? What makes them unique? I mean, um, it, it really goes back to the to the growth. Um, we've always concentrated on the um, aspect of, of the customer service and the experience for the consumer, whether it's through the retail channel, the wholesale channel. Um, it's it's really always been a, a really big priority to us to make sure that you know the experience goes um, as well as possible. So. Uh, for the most part, it's it's been it's been a slow climb to get to number one. Um, nobody's going to jump there right away, um, but for uh, you know we, we've been there actually now for for quite a while. On occasion, Wells Fargo will will sort of we're in a boxing match. <laughs> Wells back Fargo. And forth. Sorry. Um, <laughs> but you know, for the most part, I think we offer a lot of things that that Wells can't when it comes to customer service. Um, you know, not to say that, that Wells isn't good. Um, you know, they're obviously a large... Being politically large, correct. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to be nice here. So yeah, um, they got some big attorneys at Wells. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And they're probably going to want to be on the show next week, just so you know. <laughs> correct. Why After my pay room. cut, because you mentioned Phil's ripped pants, oh, I'm, I'm, I can't afford the attorney. <laughs> I was done with so, that. Yeah, I sure. let it go. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I mean, essentially, it it's really goes back to the customer experience. And, and, and common been able sense to, lending. Yes. It's all the little things that sometimes... When you get to be as big as a place like a Wells Fargo, you you almost have to begin to look at a at a customer as an application like a number, and that's something that we've we've pushed and to this, make sure that that you know it's happen. so funny right. to say that, and we we talk about how we change people's lives in the lending world and it, the real estate world. You know, right. I mean, everybody does this to get paid, obviously, 
it, at some point, you know, the bills still have to be paid because somebody's got to pay for these expensive shirts, yeah. you know. <laughs> you know, and but at the end, you know, it's human interaction. It's people's lives. It I is. Mean, I mean, we talk Especially about some of the life-changing things that happen even in our branch and so forth. About Especially when, when someone is buying a home. That is the biggest purchase that they've made in their lives, mm -hmm. you know, when you when you're talking your first time home buyer, you know, a car, well, granted there are some cars that are like really expensive out right. there these days, but for the most part, it's the biggest, uh, you know, in in their life, and and it's where they're going to raise their families, and it's where they're going to their kids are going to go to school in that community in that neighborhood. It is such a huge, life changing event, and some people. Um, we like to make sure that that it's a positive experience for them, and Norcom does too, which is one of the things that I love about Norcom. Yeah, no, it, it, it's definitely important for us. I mean, you, you can't build a company um, on on poor customer service. You just can't do that, and we understand that. And um, you know, we we do our best to make sure that the experience is is as good as it can be. And um, you know, we also push to. Um, you know, bring a lot of the training to, you know, an individual basis for, for what NORCOM is, how we work. Um, you know, we're, we're very, uh, we look for the individual attention. We want the best professionals out there. We want, um, we want you to know how to work with us and uh, to make it go smooth. So you, you do have to do a little bit of extra work sometimes um, as a mortgage originator or a loan officer with us, and, and that's because you know, we want it to go quick. We want it to go smooth. So and, you want, uh, you like to see everything on the front end from before some, you know, before it even gets in front of underwriting then, I'm assuming. So a complete correct. package, which makes it. So why would, why would the real estate professionals, because a lot of our audience are real estate professionals, want to work with a, you know, you were a broker for 10 years, mm -hmm. yep. and, you, and you have four children, I understand. I do, yes. <laughs> and, a, and a lovely wife. Yes, absolutely. And that's a plug for you, wife, so yeah. I didn't know you. So. <laughs> so I'm keeping you married, just so you know, because it's, it's cheaper to keep her, I'm here to tell you. So <laughs> not that I know anything about that, but, but anyway. But what is different about broker versus direct lending? So you were in the broker world at one point, and now Norcom is a direct lender, which means you know, which, what, what is the difference and why there's pros and cons, I'm assuming, to both yep. worlds, so. Yeah, the, um, you know, the, I guess the cliff notes on it is, is a broker um, does business without actually lending their own money. Um, they use a, a third party company, uh, such as Norcom, because we all actually offer that, that particular product line, um, to actually fund the mortgage. So, you know, some of the differences are, um, just the, the types of disclosures that you send the borrowers and what they actually mean. Um, and, uh, you know, the nice thing that the brokers have that, that some lenders don't is they have, you know, lots and lots of other options. Mm -hmm. um, as a lender, um, what's important to us and the reason why we've been successful is that um, if, if you are a closed-minded lender to an individual transaction, um, if it comes in and you can't have an open mind about the loan, then the next step is to just deny it and get rid of it and, and make a borrower go find another option. Um, so what we can offer is, as a direct lender is the, um, the opportunity to, to present everything to us and we're going to look at it with a common sense approach, ah. um, which makes That's a big That's what I difference. really like. That's common right. Sense. That and, and I like the fact that everybody is, is kind of in there under one roof so that you can sit there and take a unique situation and go right to the head of underwriting and say, here's the story. This is what's going on here and that kind of a thing. And she is so, um, do I have really hair flying in? Yeah. I got to fly my hair. <laughs> And she has very much been in the business forever as well, and very common sense. And you know, if it's a, if it's a way of making that loan work, she's going to work with you to make that work. And that's the other thing that I really love about them. Yeah, for what? sure. I mean, that's it's <clears throat> she, she, she sort of like sets the table for what we all do, um, and it's important to have that particular person or those people that we work with because. Um, Without those people, it, it becomes, like I said, a very transactional basis. Right. So when you're working on a direct side, the lender is lending their own money, mm -hmm. and you have your own people. So you work with the same people. I guess there becomes that camaraderie. You don't camaraderie. have to go through somebody else. Yeah, so Correct. control. Yeah. You where, can control it. Where in a broker world, you may not hear from a broker for a year, and he might be saying, let me shovel this loan to you, Mr. Norcom, because I can't right. close it anywhere else, but I think you guys will buy my crap. 
Is that is that kind of the I mean the mindset out there with brokers? Is that it, it, it is like you're they're looking they're they're always searching. They've got the the round peg. They're looking for the round hole, but sometimes they find the square hole and vice versa. Um, so while the options are great to have, sometimes you can really it can work against you at the same point because it can delay closings by not. You know, you, you actually have to know 5, 10, 15 different lenders and how they operate um, instead of having one good solid lender that you, you know and they can do 90%, you're trying right. to do 100%, and sometimes that 10% just, just can't be done, and you, you end up... You mean some people don't actually qualify Some people for a don't home? qualify. You mean some not people everyone. should not own a home? I know, not everyone. What are you saying? <laughs> this, is, this is the case. Some, so, some people should not own a home, um, and, and those we try to identify up front so that we don't... Waste everybody's time because listen even, to him he, being so politically correct. He's, he's, <laughs> he's such a nice guy. He's he, so good. The, um, I mean, there's no real estate agents that are watching the show that really no. want to spend <laughs> the 45 days it takes to lend to close a loan, um, <laughs> which really isn't the case. But, not in um, not in my world. Why does it take you so long? Less than 30. About. You know what? We'll get back to that. Let's get let's take a break, and yeah. we're going to get back to the ins and outs of what. Walking it through what, and, and how what to get we it can do quickly. and what really happens behind the scenes. So we'll, we'll be, be right back. We'll be right back. This is one bee that loves going to the dentist because it's made for you and me. My name is Dr. Bezerra from New Tampa Pediatric Dental, providing a comfortable atmosphere in early dental care gives kids a great start for healthy teeth and gums for life. When I go to Dr. B, they don't do anything to hurt you. I used to be afraid, but I'm not now. I'm not afraid of the dentist anymore. I love to see Dr. B. Call New Tampa Pediatric Dental today. Revolutionary in his field, Dr. Bonatti created, perfected, and patented the Bonatti Spine Procedures. Using his genius, Bonatti invented precise tools necessary to minimize surgery, scarring, anesthesia, and recovery. So successful are the Bonatti Spine Procedures, they consistently reflect over 94% patient satisfaction. 45,000 successful procedures have been performed exclusively at our location. Nearly half our patients suffer from failed back and neck surgeries at other facilities. Bonatti succeeds where others fail. Mortgages don't need to be complicated. At Norcom, we're here to guide you through the process. By following our tried and true path to success, we make homes happen. To get started, give us a call or apply online. A trusted mortgage consultant will reach out to you to find out what your goals are. Whether you're in the market to purchase a new home or refinance your current home, we are dedicated to helping you achieve your goals. At Norcom, we'll provide a best-in-class customer experience. Once a plan is established, your mortgage consultant will analyze your income, assets, and credit profile in order to customize a plan for you. If you're planning on moving in the next few years, we might suggest an adjustable rate mortgage to be the best option for you. If you're a veteran, we'll get you started on a VA loan with 0% down. And if you're thinking long-term, a 30-year fixed loan might be your best fit. Our professionals are up to date on market trends and will help you make the best decision in choosing your rate. After we've found the program that's best for you, we'll then need to collect some information, including pay stubs, bank statements, and tax forms. Our underwriting team steers a loan through the approval process to verify that all the information you've provided is correct. As the underwriting process is taking place, an appraisal is ordered to determine the value of your home. A professional, local appraiser specializing in your area will determine the home's value. The last leg of this journey is closing your loan. While taking care of any last minute details, our closing team will work on scheduling your closing date and location. It's that simple. Thank you for taking some time to walk through the mortgage path with us. Remember, we're always here to answer any questions you may have. It may seem intimidating, but here at Norcom Mortgage, we make homes happen. Well, welcome back, everybody. 
And what are we doing again? As I hit him to say, you you're did. talking. Yeah, like she's like nudging <laughs> you're, me. Like you're starting. She thinks I got a little string money. Hello. <laughs> yeah, talk. You're my favorite. All company. right. So what we want to do now is we, we want to. My name is Dylan Gaffin, <laughs> and I do loans. Oh, sorry. I know. <laughs> Am I making fun of you? Yes. I hardly picked what, on you today. What? I know. Well, you've been doing all the talking with your buddy Kale here. <laughs> Kale and I so. connected. I, you know. I know. Other, other than that. Uh, Boston thing, right? <laughs> that we were doing really good until, until then. Until he told me he liked the Red Sox, <laughs> and you know, me being a Rays guy is kind of tough. But we won't talk about the Red Sox record this year because it's worse than the Rays if that's even possible. Dylan's like, yeah. I know he's going to talk about, he's got a Rays thing coming up at the end of the month we'll or something about like that. that. We're going to talk about that later. Segment. So anyway, so what we want to do with Kale here, while he's still here, before he decides to just walk out, we're yeah, going to walk everyone through. We want, you know, the best thing to make, and I haven't done any talking, so now it's my turn. Quit hitting me. <laughs> to make the transaction go from, from contract <laughs> to closing as smooth as possible. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> What has to happen? Um, a lot of times, people get very disoriented because they sign a contract. The they sign a contract <laughs> and they think, "Yay, let's get an inspection done." And as soon as the home inspection goes well, then okay, let's close. Not quite that easy, <laughs> is no. it, Kale? No, there's a few things in between. There's a, there's a couple more there's steps. There's a lot that we of things probably behind the scenes that nobody knows about. That and they, that's what Kale's going to shed light why, on. For why us. does it take so long? So you know, you know, from the borrower standpoint, they take an application. And they're approved because you pre-approve them. And then from their standpoint, they think they're done. But right. there's so much more that goes on. So what what happens maybe from, give us the Reader's Digest version. Can you tell us what happens like after that application is taken and credit is pulled and documents are received and W-2s and tax returns and fourth born. You know, so I did that for you. <laughs> we do all this gathering. <laughs> yeah, we did, and we start pricking their fingers for blood, they want their blood type. And then not only that, they got, do they have fog in the mirror? Because that's the last test. In the old days, we used to just go, you're good. I'll right. see you Tuesday. We'll close. We used to do the pulse check. Did just, you? Yeah, just check the pulse. <laughs> just check the pulse. So they could get a house if they, they had a pulse. They could hold a pen. They could so get what, a house. <laughs> so after all these documents are gathered and it's submitted and then the number one lender in the state of Connecticut gets it, what do they do with it? Do you guys like just go, cool, let's close on we Friday? Just, we just sit on it and we yeah. just... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure uh, Phil's going to love anywhere. to hear that. Yeah. Well, it doesn't matter, you're getting a pay cut anyway, yeah. so. so... It's all downhill from here. So what happens after that? Um, Does it go to this mystery black hole? And then we hope no, they, there's there's just a lot of a lot of different steps throughout the process in which a, a mortgage goes um, goes through. Um, there's a lot of documentation, and with the increased um, scrutiny on mortgages over the last several years, um, there's a lot of third-party documentation which needs to be obtained um, on behalf. Verifying, verifying. So not only are you verifying now, but a third party verifies information that you have supplied. Like even like in the appraisal, there's a third party management company now into the layer that's been there since what, 2011? 10 or 11. 10. Yeah, it's, it's been a little while now. So, so we order, it's... appraisals get ordered from the third party and then they pick the appraiser. What, what else is third party verified? Um, that would be, you know, filing of tax returns through a 4506T. So um, you're going to the IRS and verifying. Now this correct, is something so that, that now all, all files get verified. And this is across the board. Every lender, I believe, it, it, for a while in those crazy days, uh, they only verified like 10% of the tax returns. Now everyone's tax return gets verified. Yeah, I mean, on a very rare occasion, um, there could essentially be an exception made to, to not verify with really? certain programs. We can um, talk to you about that later. <laughs> no, that either. <laughs> there's, uh, Did you hear that? You know, uh, <laughs> there, there's not too many instances, but, you know, <laughs> He's essentially... He's backpedaling now, isn't he? <laughs> no, I mean, we've we, we we had people that last week, so... Wow. It, 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 it does happen on occasion, but um, it's, it's just not a common occurrence. They're, they're verifying those... Uh, if if a direct lender decides not to verify them and they sell a mortgage to somebody who does verify them and those that, that those two items don't match, um, it's problematic for the lender. And there's so um, so many issues with buybacks from from the sellers of or the purchasers of these mortgages. Um, there's a lot of risk for lenders, and you know depending on the size of the lender, um, you can only take on a certain amount of risk with your everyday business and expect to stay in business. 
Um, so really what you're doing is you're, you're sort of weighing the, the risk versus reward when you're doing business every day. Um, you know, the hope is that you have somebody that purchases the mortgage from you and doesn't have any issues with it. Um, now, being you bring up this point, if I can interject real quick sure. here, let's explain to people what you're talking about because people think right away, well, you just said you're a direct lender. What do you mean selling it? Mm -hmm. you do, you're not supposed to be selling it. You're supposed to be holding on to my loan. Correct. So explain a little bit about how secondary market and yeah. that works. Yeah, the majority of mortgages on the marketplace. Whether um, you're Bank of America, Wells Fargo, yeah, anybody else. a lot else. of those companies, they, they sell it to you know Fannie and Freddie um, or Ginny, depending on if it's a government loan, a conventional loan, what type, what guidelines it really fits. They do have some small differences between um, them when you sell them um, that are product specific. So uh, depending, you know, that's part of the origination knowledge that we need to have. Um, certain lenders would require possibly only one year's tax returns on a self-employed borrower if they're a really strong borrower. Um, another investor may always require two. So uh, having the knowledge of that. Uh, but and typically you guys, these Just are, to be clear, you guys, that's your Fannie and Freddie. We are Fannie, and, Freddie, and Ginny. And so you have all of it. Of all so, three, correct. So you're covering ninety that ninety percent right, you were right. talking about earlier. The only difference between say us and Wells Fargo, besides the fact that there's three times as much scrutiny for our loan officers because they have to be certified and licensed, right. where the banks don't require that, which is crazy to me. But that's another story. Yeah, I know. Um, me too. Wow. <laughs> so anybody who works under the Norcom umbrella or system has to be licensed so you're going to have better trained qualified hopefully intelligent people or who can at least pass correct a yes. test that they, a lot not, of people not only fail. do they pass a, a state test and a federal test but they also pass a criminal background test and they have to submit a credit report to the department um, of banking to be cleared to originate mortgages so how do we get um, in <laughs> <laughs> we're just that good <laughs> man Right. You, you said you knew some people, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, wait. Do my pulse check. I'm in. Yeah, we're testing again <laughs> next week, too, by the way. Oh, yeah. oh thanks for bringing that more, up. <laughs> more tests. Um, but anyway, so, so real quick. So you are selling directly to Fannie and Freddie. Okay. Um, the banks all sell to Fannie and Freddie because, let's face it, people may not know this, but we can't, no lender out there can afford to put out $200,000 loan and wait 30 years for the payments to come back in on it. So you make a $200,000 loan, you sell it to Fannie and Freddie Mac or Ginny or whoever, and then they give you the money back that you can sell out, lend out to somebody else now. Correct. Yeah, they pay a premium kind of what makes for the world sale, go around. and you know, we we there's a bunch of different options, and it would take a while to go through all of them. But we we actually service a lot of our, our mortgages Which, ourselves. So that's that's the important thing to people. So you will still, in most cases, continue to make the payments to correct. Your we'll, we'll actually collect the payments. Um, Which that's a big deal for a lot of people because loans get sold from servicer to servicer to servicer and it's like you got to keep updating who you're auto paying and who you're dealing with and then oh we didn't get your payment yet oh we just switched over who do i pay do i pay company a company b but norcom is servicing their own loans now we do for the most part mm -hmm. is it all of their loans all of their paper? um we don't service a hundred percent of of what we um what we write but we service a, a very large percentage that's of, good of to know i think write. a lot of people that puts comfort in i know they some of the other safer. banks yes. even sell off a lot of theirs but i think the servicing business has become maybe a big part of revenue for a lot of the lenders. Out yeah, there. no, I think it's an important part um, of, of the process of stability for a mortgage company. Um, I think it says a lot, yeah. Yeah, and, and you know, the, the truth be told is that it's an experience It goes back to just, you know, the reason why we're again number one in Connecticut is that we want the experience to be great um, for the consumers, not just the beginning and then we hand it off to somebody else and say, you know, have a nice day, nice right. to have business with you, and then you'll be miserable with your new company. Right. Um, you know, we want to take it, and we want to make sure that, you know, if, if there's an issue, if you're having trouble, if something changes, you can call us up, and, and you know that we'll work really hard to try to... Um, and you guys are awesome. You really do. You've always thanks. done that. All right, so let's go back to our black hole. Okay, so we have this black hole. So we've, we've gathered all the stuff from, from everybody, got their blood type, got everything under the sun, and we send it in to you guys. Mm -hmm. You have a pulse. And and the first step is she's the processor pretty. gets it and she's going to start, he or she is going to start verifying the information, verifying Correct. the tax returns, um, ordering appraisal and such, verifying social security numbers. Yeah, flood, flood certification. There's, there's many, many of them. 
oftentimes there's, you know, in regards to the credit report, there could be a fraud alert if a borrower's ever had their identity right. stolen, and that'll be a red flag. Um, we, we often times in the underwriters will pull a, um, um, a, a fraud guard report, which basically tells us if, they're, if the customer themselves is a high risk customer, um, if they own any other properties anywhere that they're not disclosing to <gasps> us. Um, people do that? It, it, it comes out in the so wash. So you check it really all of that. Does. I mean, so they're going to find it. It's, it's everyday business. Everybody right. is checking all of this information when you apply for a mortgage. So this is part of the process, again, and why it, you, know, you can't close why the file in a so week. Why it takes so long. Right. Right. And, and quite frankly, um, you know, it, it's really, it, it doesn't take as long as, as most people think it takes. Um, it, it really, you, you should be able to close a, a well-processed, well-packaged mortgage file in three weeks, um, right. with, really without a problem. Write that down. And we've, we've done that, actually. We've de yeah. Definitely, as long as everything is in line. Three. But it, again, it comes down to uh, your, your buyer has to work with you in providing all of the information. Stop it. Your buyer has to work with you in providing all of the information. And then everyone has to be patient because things do have to be verified. Yeah. And we totally don't have any control over how quick the IRS is going to get the information back to us that we requested. We have no control over how quick Fraud Guard is going to get back to us. We have general ideas. They do flood certifications and such. There's definitely third-party things. The appraisal, the appraisal, as you mentioned, yeah, is now third-party. Sometimes on VA, those things are over a week the, yeah. before we get uh, any feedback on an appraisal. So some of the things that are completely out of our control, we can't do anything about. But as long as we have people working with us. All right, so then after the processor gets everything, checks everything, she gets everything to the underwriter. And the underwriter then? They, um, they basically they, they do a, a full underwrite of, of the mortgage loan. They look at the income. They look at the stability of the income. They look at the, um, the assets. They'll, they'll check the small things, things sometimes that people overlook, um, you know, could be silly things, even like in, in insufficient funds on a bank account. Um, you know, some of the little details. I told you that one. Um, <laughs> Come back to haunt you. <laughs> you know, the, when I first started in the business, um, the first person that I worked with said the devil's in the details when you're doing mortgages. And it's so true. Um, yes. And that's why it's really important. Um, so a good prequal is not, hey, let me run your credit. And, uh, oh, you're good. No. Yeah, you got a 620. You're in. Yeah. I get you a house. It, it, it really, in, and it depends on the referral sources that you're working with. So for the real estate agents, you know, everybody wants a quick answer because you've got a, you've got a buyer on the phone. They just called you. They found this house. You're the listing agent. Like you, you want something yesterday because yes. you want them to sign a contract. And we all understand that. So, you know, as an originator or originators, we do our best to get you that information in a timely fashion. Um, but simply understand that the more time that we have to actually work with the borrower and ask for items from them, you know, I, I don't know what percentage of borrowers actually, um, you know, scroll through the paper or they look online because obviously everybody's going online now mm -hmm. and they find a house and they finally got the cards to call and like 15 minutes later they're talking to a lender for a prequalification. They had no intentions on making that call in the first place. So they don't have their pay stubs handy. They don't have their W-2s. Right. They right. don't have their tax returns and their bank statements. So you're going off of information initially that's unverified, um, you know, which as long as you're asking the right questions, you know, part of what's really important for an originator is really asking the right questions and knowing what to ask. Right. Um, you know, the, the simple questions sometimes, when you've heard it enough, you know, you know, to ask another question when they tell yes. you how they're paid because it's probably not, you know, simple things like people telling you how much they get and it's the net income it, instead it, of the gross the income. All the time. Or the, you all know, the time. They people call you all the time? <laughs> they, they say that all the time. Well, well I bring home $522.83 right, right. <laughs> right. so a week. What, so maybe consumers, I hate to say this, they're going about it backwards. They, they're out, oh, there's a great house. I want that house. And then it's an emotional attachment for that great house rather than let me get all my stuff together let me get my credit run let me talk to a professional about getting pre-approved and then see what i can afford and then shop so a lot of people do it backwards they look at a house and they say oh i want that house how am i going to get it yeah it's i mean we all are our interest is always sparked in different ways and most people just don't sit around at the breakfast table and just say hey i want to buy a house today they they're 
they, they drive by a house on the street and they look at it and they really like it. And then they inquire about the house, whether it's online or with an agent. So, you know, a lot of the times we do get it, you know, sort of from a referral source. That's very common unless it's a repeat, you know, customer that we've had in the past. Um, so I would say, you know, if, if you have, if you know what questions to ask and, and you've worked with the referral source before, um, you can help to make the process go smooth. And I know that that's the concentration here um, is um, of, of this particular segment is to you know try to speed it up or explain I what know. needs to be done you know so through the just process to make it so. smoother. Well, and that's why it's great Asking for the right questions. a real estate professional to partner up with a mortgage professional that right. they know and like each other because they're partners in this and they can feed off each other. They understand each other. Um, what's required, what they need, how does the process work? Because right. when you start just going to another lender, it's like learning over. Right, right. So I think that's that's good. That's a lot. Of, there's a lot of good information here. So generally, like a, our first week of the loan, it's the originator gathering everything, doing the disclosures that has to be done. The second week, we've got the processor verifying all Let's that get information. Let's to week eleven. <laughs> Tell me and what then, happens there. And then it goes to <laughs> underwriting, and <laughs> and then it, finally, once the underwriter is done. Personally, you know, what I try to tell the originators is when you write the pre-qualification, you, you give the, the consumer the list of information you need immediately. Um, you know, because it's going to take some negotiation. You're going to have some time in between the actual date that they showed interest and in you wrote an initial pre-qual to the date that they actually are getting the contract. Right. And in that amount of time, you can find out a lot of information yes. that could creep up and be problematic once they do apply. So it's That's really important. That's part of the inside scoop. <laughs> yeah, it is right there. <laughs> so yes. just gathering, you know, as quickly as, as can be. And I think, you know, definitely setting the expectations with the borrower, mm -hmm. uh, with the real estate agent. Um, you know, real estate agents need to, um, I, I think, keep the communication going as well because it's really important. It's important to know if you've if you've written a qualification letter for a FHA mortgage, if there's shipping and peeling paint in the house, or if there's right. something that's going to cause a delay that we're not aware of because we're not going into the property. Right, because right, so, we're not seeing it. You know, good communication throughout the process, I think, is paramount in getting it closed quickly. Um, but just looking at the details, you know, why doesn't the borrower's address match from one document to the next? You know, mm. asking for the explanation for those things. Because while they look like little silly things, um, it really can add up to be a big problem. Sure. And most times, people that aren't telling the truth, while it's a very small percentage, those are the little things that they look for to see if or, somebody's doing or something. Or people that they are divorced and they're paying child support and they didn't disclose it all, oh, but it was years ago. Or they're not divorced and it comes up that they are. I know, forgot about right. it because it just comes out yeah. of my right. paycheck. Yeah. yeah so. Isn't you know? it strange that the things that come up? It's yeah. just amazing. Yeah, so, so you know, well, people I, are scared. Yeah, they, they are. Don't want to disclose that information because they're afraid That's, they're not going to qualify, right. which doesn't it's get it out up front. I think, Absolutely. especially for your first-time home buyers. Tell your originator everything. everything. Yes, that's it. It's <laughs> everything. You know, They're here to help you. They're let them check your pulse. Let, yes. Go ahead and do the fog on the mirror, but give them everything. Tell them your whole life story. Even if you good. think it's like you know not important, it, there might be something in there that is important. So yeah. So yeah. any last, we're going to close here. But any last minute tips that you want to tell the real estate professionals or the first time home buyers? Or maybe you want to tell your friends at Norcom, your six million fans out there, before we wrap up here. Or... Um, no. <laughs> All right. Well, we just want to keep Kale gamefully employed, but obviously we'll have a job for you here in the studio. Yes. I'm gonna need it, so yeah. I, I figured I wouldn't <laughs> I say anything more because I'm in enough trouble. Listen, anyway. I got to tell you, the pay sucks, <laughs> but the benefits are great. You get to hang out with us. Um, Delinda is bruised every week. <laughs> you should see. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I know. And next week we should switch sides so I can start bruising so you, this arm. Actually, I'm usually the one going like that. Yeah, you're right. You're right. And we have witnesses. So um, we'll be right back with our community information stuff and stay right there. This is one bee that loves going to the dentist because it's made for you and me. My name is Dr. Bezerra from New Tampa Pediatric Dental. Providing a comfortable atmosphere in early dental care gives kids a great start for healthy teeth and gums for life. When I go to Dr. B, they don't do anything to hurt you. I used to be afraid, but I'm not now. I'm not afraid of the dentist anymore. I love to see Dr. B. Call New Tampa Pediatric Dental today. 
Revolutionary in his field, Dr. Bonatti created, perfected, and patented the Bonatti Spine Procedures. Using his genius, Bonatti invented precise tools necessary to minimize surgery, scarring, anesthesia, and recovery. So successful are the Bonatti Spine Procedures, they consistently reflect over 94% patient satisfaction. 45,000 successful procedures have been performed exclusively at our location. Nearly half our patients suffer from failed back and neck surgeries at other facilities. Bonatti succeeds where others fail. Mortgages don't need to be complicated. At Norcom, we're here to guide you through the process. By following our tried and true path to success, we make homes happen. To get started, give us a call or apply online. A trusted mortgage consultant will reach out to you to find out what your goals are. Whether you're in the market to purchase a new home or refinance your current home, we are dedicated to helping you achieve your goals. At Norcom, we'll provide a best-in-class customer experience. Once a plan is established, your mortgage consultant will analyze your income, assets, and credit profile in order to customize a plan for you. If you're planning on moving in the next few years, we might suggest an adjustable rate mortgage to be the best option for you. If you're a veteran, we'll get you started on a VA loan with 0% down. And if you're thinking long-term, a 30-year fixed loan might be your best fit. Our professionals are up to date on market trends and will help you make the best decision in choosing your rate. After we've found the program that's best for you, we'll then need to collect some information, including pay stubs, bank statements, and tax forms. Our underwriting team steers a loan through the approval process to verify that all the information you've provided is correct. As the underwriting process is taking place, an appraisal is ordered to determine the value of your home. A professional, local appraiser specializing in your area will determine the home's value. The last leg of this journey is closing your loan. While taking care of any last minute details, our closing team will work on scheduling your closing date and location. It's that simple. Thank you for taking some time to walk through the mortgage path with us. Remember, we're always here to answer any questions you may have. It may seem intimidating, but here at Norcom Mortgage, we make homes happen. Okay, we're back and we're here with Kale Furlan from Norcom Mortgage, the number one da -da -da, direct lender in the state of Connecticut. And we're going to go over our community events. We community have events a lot going on. Oh, Any of you so who know us, we got all kinds of stuff so going on. Let's start out with the dates. It's Friday, September 5th is Fiesta Friday at 4 30. That's, that's at, this coming Friday. Yep, that's at 2150 Seven Springs Boulevard in Trinity. Come on by. It's a happy hour, it's a great time. And did you say 4.30 to 6? I did. Okay. I said 4.30. And what else we got going Until on? Until 6-ish. That same night also happens to be the Trinity Odessa uh, Casino Night. Yes, it's right? a night of Monte Carlo. It is $85 a person. There are still... Tickets available. Tickets available for that should be a great Contact night. Contact the chamber though. for that, Trinity yep. Odessa Chamber. Yes, so that should be good. September 19th, we got the Rays bus, which I believe is sold out, but... But he's taken names. Yeah. So, yes. <laughs> Who so, are the Rays playing that night? The Rays are playing the White Sox. Not to be confused not the with Red the Red Sox. Sox. <laughs> the White There's Sox. no confusion. No yeah. <laughs> There's not. And that bus trip is always a lot of fun, too. And, and we got a big um, cancer event. Fundraiser coming up. It should be great. We're doing it. We're partnered up with the American Cancer Society. It is called Bowling for Boobs. And I was told this morning by a producer that my left boob is bigger than my right boob. I have no idea where that came from. But, and even it why scares it me up. that that producer, who is my husband, knows that. Yeah. <laughs> so. so anyway, apparently, uh, go on WPBA.biz. There's a few lanes left. Um, if you this is September for, 30th. That's September 30th. And that which is, is a Tuesday Lang night. Lane Glow in Newport Ritchie. Um, right off Old 54. Yeah, you want to talk about that one? What do we got I need to my here? glasses. Really? <laughs> what That's, is that one? That one's October All right, 21st. that one is October 21st, and that is Dancing with the Local Stars. This is also a fundraiser for the Junior Service League this time, and we have a local star here who has been asked to dance. So he needs votes. How it works is it all raises money for the Junior Service League, who does a lot of wonderful things for the community. We need votes. It's a dollar a vote. So you can go actually go on the website for our networking group, which is WPBA. 
dot biz and there's going to be a, a tab on there under the donation tab you look for that and it's going to be a buck for Barry yes so please go in and vote the more votes he gets the more money that goes to the junior service league and I gotta win because and he really wants to win I'm taking He's dance got lessons this competitive for the next thing six weeks <laughs> And my partner is. And you really could good. also buy tickets to the event if you want to go and, and ridicule him. Did yes, I say that yes, out loud? Did. Yes, you did. Because yes. <laughs> I'll be doing the salsa. And they're very, very reasonably priced. And it's a fun night out. And then, we have, what uh, else do we have we going have, on? Well, it's and then December, the Grinch event, yes. December 12th. But we'll talk more about that later. So. Right. But anyway. Lots of fun stuff coming up in the all, community. All kinds of good stuff going If you want to so. get involved, get plugged in with what's going on in the community, just give us a call. Reach out. We got plenty of things yeah, going reach on. Reach out and touch someone. Just don't touch my left breast. So that's because it's too big. And as far as the show <laughs> goes, thanks. <laughs> Thanks for watching the show. That. It's going to bug me all day. Please share. We are out there on YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, all of that stuff. Get this, this show out. Please share it with first time home buyers out there who maybe don't know what to expect and some real estate agents in the profession so that everyone is on the same page, the same expectations. Yep. And thanks, Kale, for being on for with coming us with today us. and yeah. coming all the way down from Connecticut. Yes. So, mm. um, it's, a long, we'll... it's a long walk. So. <laughs> It is a long walk. <laughs> Try flying next time. Maybe just not the same airline. Yeah, right. <laughs> you got a little delayed. Thanks for watching. We are today and every day. Moving forward. We will hey. see everybody next week. Bye-bye. <laughs>